Hello and welcome to the Stuff of Legends. I am Ryan from the Hasbro Marvel Legends marketing team and we've got something big and exciting to take you through today. In fact, it is the biggest Marvel Legends item of all time. You know what I'm talking about. None other than our HasLab Galactus. So we are going to be doing an in-depth unboxing today. This has never before been opened. This is my first time seeing the actual finished product throughout, so I'm, I'm really excited for that. And this item is so big that I'm going to need uh, the help of a friend and teammate to help me with this. So, Dwight, come on in and help me unbox this monstrosity. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Good, man. How are you? I'm perfect. All right. So, you can do the honors here, carefully and responsibly, of course, but for the first time, the Galactus HasLab. Let's free him. You're aware of what happened the last time I did an unboxing, right? It's a more controlled environment. That's true. There's we a lot have, more space. We have, sa we have the uh, safety on standby. Yeah, you still gave me a knife. Okay. <laughs> Don't make right, me right, regret that. All right. All right. All right. No, no, I can do this. I can do this. It's got that fresh off the fresh off the boat type <laughs> smell still. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. This is like when you assemble furniture at home and they have the, it's like a team lift, like have yep. a friend to do it. So you could awkwardly do it by yourself, but, or you could get a friend to help you too. Yeah, the best so part let's... about, you know, collecting, right? So right. there we go. Look at this. Seamless. Boom. Seamless. All right. So here we have our amazing packaging for Galactus, um, following in the footsteps of our Sentinel, which had that awesome kind of panoramic. Uh, or look, a, a bit of a different approach for this one, so we'll, we'll talk about it for a second. So if you haven't already seen the interview uh, with John Tyler Christopher on the Hasbro Pulse blog, go check that out. But he talks about the approach to, to doing this package. We did a, a fan vote on the Hasbro Pulse for, I think, three, three or so different options, and this was the, this was the winner. Um, yeah, he speaks about how Galactus is such an interesting character because he's so large, he's almost like... The, the frame of the photo and the backdrop, but you've got the other characters uh, in front of them there. And uh, you know, our, our amazing creative services team uh, worked with John, so Ben and Sean and team, you know, on some of the, some of the Easter egg elements you'll see in the corner, corner box near Dwight there, we've got the uh, Galactus silhouette. If we wanna zoom in, it says Marvel Legends. And what did, Dwight, what does it say underneath there? It says Marvel Legends series, HasLab number two, 2022. All right, so a little Easter egg there. This is, of course, our second in hopefully a long line of HasLabs, but um, a, little, a little nice corner box detail. And um, yeah, you've got Galactus here with Frankie Ray, Silver Surfer, and Morg down there in the corner. And if we turn this around, something that I don't think we've, we've shown yet, but on the back, we had a couple of options what to do on the back, but we settled on a diorama-style backdrop in space. So when you get your... Galactus at home if you're going to save this box, which you should because it's an amazing piece of art, but you can turn it around and you can have your Galactus posed out uh, against it. And you see, uh, this is actually Galactus's ship from, from the comics, which um, we, we learned about in the research. And, you know, um, JTC incorporated that in the artwork. So a really fun, you know, reverse side of your packaging here. So with that, let's, let's get into it. So we want to... Open it here. Chop it from the top. That's right. Chop it from the top. Find that seam. There we go. Boom. Okay. So you've got your Galactus here, and maybe this is the top. Why don't we? That was the top. We've got your. You've got your instructions for the battery installation. Pretty, pretty self-explanatory, but they're there for your reference. And then let's go this way. All right, I'll pop the bottom just to make this okay. easier for us. That's, that's it, see, Dwight has the tip here. If you cut the bottom too, it makes... Makes an air pocket. Removal. And look at that, look how easy that is. I definitely want to keep that on display here in the All office. Right. And let's tilt this up a little bit. It has a diorama purpose. I'll give you that this box might have some credit to remain in your collection. Thank you. This is what you'll get, right? This is exactly how it'll come. It's got this big tray here. We've got a uh, blister kind of system here. You see all the additional figures. Thank you guys for helping us lock, unlock all the tiers. So yep. you've got the three figures. You've got the alternate head. His um, little helmet pieces are packed off to the side. And then you've got 
and Galactus. So let, let's take them through. Why don't we start with uh, Galactus first? All right. Get this thing up there. Right here. Take this off. You're going to take out your secured styrofoam. Don't you just love the sound of styrofoam do. grinding on itself? Yeah. All right. So you've got. Let's free him. From the styrofoam tomb. That's right. It looks like a mummy. I love it. Oh, whew. there's a mm, freshly unboxed. Now that's the uh, that's the smell of uh, plastic. Wish we had smell a vision. <laughs> All right. Oh, he comes with a wow bonus galactic sized bed sheet. Who knew? All right. So the big guy, you want to take the uh, bed sheet away? All right. Big guy here looks a little weird without his uh, antlers. And the antlers are keyed. It's really hard to tell from the size of it, but when you get it, you can tell it's about three quarters of a circle and one side is flat. And if you look at the side of his head, it's the same. So the flat side goes on the back of his antler, pops right in. Same thing, but reversed. Flat side on the back, pops right here. That little click locks right into place. So there you go. And it is just that easy to assemble your Galactus. Two steps. Two steps. Look, let's just, again, a refresher. How, let's do a tail of a tape. How, how tall is he, Dwight? Let's, let's measure see. this out. Let me, give him a, let me give him one ankle click to make him stand a little bit better for us. 32 inches, folks. To the tippy top of his little, uh, I don't know, lights or antler details. 32 inches. Um, over 70 points of articulation, which would, we won't go through all of them, but we'll go through some of them, uh, including all the hands. So just talk, like, what's your initial impression when, when we see the final, what do you want the fans to notice when they unbox Galactus here for the very first time? He's large. He's very large. Um, no, he, he's, he's fantastic. Um, I think the, uh, the deco, the, the molded uh, plastics and the painted uh, elements all look really, really amazing on this guy. Um, the, the attention of detail across this entire figure, um, every little piece of him was thought out. And when you get him in hand, you'll see that there's mold textures applied all throughout different elements of his body to give him a little bit more depth and realism so it's not just a smooth plastic you'll see matte parts you'll see semi-gloss parts you'll see high gloss you'll see lots of different texture elements embedded into the sides of his helmet around his mask his mouth his uh, 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 core on his chest even on the details on his skirt forearms he's got like a cool hexagon pattern across the uh, purples of his uh, upper torso then he's got some beautiful smooth areas some sort of a uh, um, grid pattern on parts of his gloves and pieces and the entire figure from front to back every piece of him has the uh, appropriate amount of deco and texturing to really make this thing uh, live and breathe and be more than just um, you know a six inch scaled uh, action figure. What are the key articulation points we want to highlight here? Uh, um, okay uh, key articulation the basics He's got a neck. It allows the figure to look left and right. Pivot slightly up and down because of the collar and the helmet. He doesn't get a ton of movement here, but that's okay. He's got to look down, and that's why he's got a inverted ab crunch and diaphragm. So you can get him to click at the waist, and you can get him just with one click, you can get him pivoting, looking down, and you can adjust his stance to hold this pose as well. So you can get him still looking at all the insignificant mortals uh, around his feet. He clicks back into place. He's got double elbows. He's got lots of, uh, lots of clickies, guys. We took a lot of our learning curve from our previous HasLab and put it into this one to try to make improvements wherever we could. So all of his joints have a nice little, listen, oh, listen to this sound. Oh, and, and it gets even better. Listen to, those, uh, listen to this guy's knee. He's been working out. He's, he's old. He's been around for a long time destroying planets, you know, he's get some creaky joints. But he has that and it allows him to hold his posing really well. So this guy can, you can get him doing also, he can, looks like he's about to kick a giant uh, planet sized soccer ball. Go! So all of his joints are tightened, improved. Uh, he's got really nice range of motion on his ankles. They go forward pretty far, they go back even further. 
And when I click down, they obviously have the pivot left and right so that you can get all of the different types of stomping poses you would want out of this guy. This guy has the ability to do a lot of cool stuff, stomping on action figures, uh, picking them up, holding them in his amazing hands. These are like some of the best hands I think we've done so far. Uh, each finger has uh, three points of articulation minus the thumb, which has two, I guess three if you look at the base, but they all rotate and can bend in for gripping whatever you want to put in them. They can pose them out. You can have some fun with him. Let him just kind of peace out people. Peace yeah, out people. These Earth. hands are, I think, I believe it has the amount, the same amount of articulation points as the Sentinel, but because the Sentinel is a big robot, his hands looked very robotic. What struck me on the early samples here is, you know, Galactus is more of a humanoid form and, and the, the actual kind of anatomy kind of reflects that. And so uh, really great detail here that works with the extra figures um, yeah. in particular, which we'll go through in a second, but also, you know, your Fantastic Four figures just lying around. He can, he can grab people and uh, really pose out. Yeah, but this figure also, we can power him up. He's got multiple ways to power up. How do Mul we do that? Show multiple them. ways, guys. He's got two key spots, one on his back. Uh, above his shoulder blades, he has a panel that pops off. And once that's removed, you can see the port for getting a screwdriver in there and taking it off and putting in a couple of what type? This is, uh, so four AAA batteries, two in each uh, compartment. Okay, two for the back, and that'll power his core, which illuminates both his chest and his back. And if you pop his head off, on the top of his helmet are a couple of knobs. And if you hold, pop those off, once again, you can get a Phillips in there and take off the cap, and you can get the last two batteries in there, which illuminates all the lights in his head. Thank you. Now that I'm done, I knew I was going to throw something. There was just no way around that. So you can put the LEDs in there. And there was another, oh. And then there is a, um, there's a sensor in the top of his neck to the bottom of his head so that when you pers push the light on his chest, it'll automatically illuminate his head at the same time, which is pretty cool. There you go. And it's just that easy to pop his head off. Do we want to show the face yeah, plates? Yeah, let's go through the face plates. All right. Uh, you can do it while his head's on, but it's a little bit easier if you pop his head off. Um, when we talked about this back in the, you know, in the initial pitch, we told you guys that there was a way to turn uh, the expressions of Galactus into different types of looks. So we have this uh, dead kind of zombie uh, mouth. We have a truly pissed off mouth. And then we have the stoic, uh, you know, I'm just going to listen to you before I just wipe you out mouth. And to change them, on the underside of his face, there's just a little spot for your finger and you can see the color of the flesh uh, piece so it's easy to see reach in there and it pops right out just that easy pick up whatever faceplate you want and it just pops in just that quickly so once again reach under there pop it out just with the index finger take a different faceplate pop it right into place and they hold really well they're very secure once they're in there and you can change his expression three different times depending on how you want to display him. Or if you have three of these guys, you can have three different Galacti uh, to battle it out. All right, so we're going to take a quick break to install the batteries and then really show you the light up feature. All right, our four batteries are installed. Let's light them up. All right, it's as simple as tapping on that uh, chest mark. As you see, his uh, chest lights up, his head flickers the life, life, little, his head will then flicker to life and you'll get the glow, the cosmic glow in the sides of his ear cuffs that kind of pulses on and off. You get the eyes illuminate and there's really cool painted uh, rectangular irises uh, inside of his eyes that you really can't see uh, too well. They're kind of a dark silver when it's powered down. You'll be able to see it when you have it in hand, but then it really illuminates to kind of give him that square effect in his eye, his chest, the multiple orbs on top of his uh, head. And then in the center of his back, the reactor core goes all the way through from the front and the back. And every part of those elements have really cool sculpted detailing inside of them to kind of give it extra levels of uh, realism and, and coolness. So that is his lights. There's one more piece though of this guy that we didn't there talk about There is one yet. more piece. So this was the final unlock and this was a great fun suggestion uh, by Jesse, but um, we have a, an alternate head. Go for it, man, do the honors. All right. Let's see if I can do this. So 
we've got, so it, st <laughs> stays, it stays lit up a little bit because uh, it's got the batteries in the top. And then we've got, did I get it on there all right? How are we doing? It looks right. good. So there you have your alternate portrait with the chest still illuminated. But that's not all you get in this huge package of, of Marvel Legends goodness. We've got some other figures as well. So why don't we put the big man aside for that. a second? Yeah, let's put them aside for a second. All right. All right. So let's take a look at the first of three six-inch figures that come with Galactus. The first up here is Silver Surfer. With you know, I'm a big display stand guy, right? Yes. So I was very excited uh, for this. Let's walk him through it. All right, so yeah, you got Surfer here on his board, up in the air on his uh, cosmic kind of uh, energy uh, motion flight stand. And uh, Surfer himself has a new likeness. Uh, he has alternate hands, he has uh, six hands. He's got flat flying hands, he's got kind of open hands and then his fist. He comes with a power effect of purple cosmic energy that can go around his wrist. And the cool thing about the stand is not only will it allow him to stand on a shelf, and there's a ball in the top that allows you to kind of pivot him back or down and rotate around however you need to pose him out. But the stand is also designed so that you can come over here on Mr. Galactus. Let's see, there we go. There we go, that's the right way. Then you can have uh, Surfer on his board floating above Galactus's mighty right hand. On there. There we go. So Galactus can hold Surfer in his right hand on the board, or it can go out onto your shelf. So specifically the right hand? Correct. It was tool. Okay, Correct. so Surfer in the right hand. Yes, but that's not all. That is not all. We'll leave them there because he's got a left hand. <laughs> and this was um, a tier we were really excited to unlock because it's a first time Legends uh, character, only, only available here in this HasLab. That's right. We've got stunning and silver over here, and we have gorgeous and gold over here with Frankie Ray. So I like, that's good alliteration. Thanks, man. Nice. So Frankie Ray comes on a cosmic fire base uh, that's molded in the same PVC uh, orange as her hair. Um, both her hair and the orange base have a little bit of yellow kind of uh, fire overspray to give it some uh, life and kind of depth to the fire. She also comes with six hands. She has open hands. She has C grips, and she has fists. And the flight stand is designed so that it traps the toe, the left toe, and the left knee of whatever action figure you put in here. So you can put Frankie Ray on the fire base, you can put Johnny Storm, uh, or any other character that you just want to. And once again, you know, it holds a pretty good uh, shape and balance, allowing you to spin it around, which is pretty cool, showing the different sides. And as you can see, the bottom of the flame is also cut to key to Galactus's left hand. So you can take, I'm gonna guarantee I'm gonna take him off because shaking him too much. You guys know once you guys put these things on your shelf, you have all the time in the world to be really careful and get the posing out just right. Clip it in. And you can kind of use Galactus's fingers to reach up and grip it to hold it in place for you. So you can see he can then hold the fire effect in his left hand. So he can have Surfer on his right, Frankie on his left. I'm gonna get Surfer back in there. I'll try. I'll spot here. Thanks. So this is gonna look awesome in your shelves, in your displays. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, and there's a, and, and because he's so articulated and, and he holds his uh, poses so well, you can get this guy doing a lot of stuff. His skirt is cut into multiple pieces, so it flexes out of the way of his legs, allowing his uh, him to step forward, back or to the side. I believe this figure, I mean, well, we can show Morg first. All right, so this was the third additional figure. All new sculpt, we came, he came out, he's really spiky. <laughs> uh, he came out great. What do you think about Morg here? He's got a cool giant uh, double bladed ax. He's got some really sick uh, silver armor that goes up past his elbow. Um, double arms, double legs, all pinless, um, a, spectacular skullet, the best skullet we've put into our toy line uh, so Top far. Top five skullet, definitely. <laughs> Top five. Yeah. So there you go. There's, there are the uh, three of Galactus's heralds um, because you guys wanted it and you guys supported it. Thank you very much. Making Galactus uh, our most massive HasLab number two of all time. 
That's right. Thank you guys um, for backing Galactus, uh, supporting them, unlocking all the tiers that we had developed. We are working on another HasLab, future HasLabs. Uh, so more, more to come. More to come. Yeah, maybe the, the third one will have the number three on the box. We should we should do that. <laughs> um, so let's just let's just take a look here. If we got the if we want to position what it would look like, the complete offering. We've got you know Galactus standing in his diorama here. How cool does that look? How cool is that? So thank you guys for tuning in. Galactus will be shipping out to you all later this year. Um, so please let us know what you think. Post your, you know, your own photos and, and reviews. We love checking them out. And um, yeah, guys, thanks for tuning in. This has been the very first world premiere HasLab Galactus Marvel Legends unboxing. Dwight, so you peek over <laughs> hey, here. Hey, buddy. Dwight, thanks for helping me out. My pleasure. It. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next time. See you guys.